even though they do only process the absentee ballots for the townships, is because the county trains the clerks. They train the city clerks, they train the school district clerks. And while it's been presented to us um, on several occasions that the county does not dictate to the cities, it has been our experience in talking to the city clerks and the school district clerks that they rely heavily, they rely heavily upon the county's guidance. So the fact that the county is choosing not to use election judges and not to have that public and bipartisan oversight has a direct influence on the cities. And that's why we've come to the county. That's why we feel it is important and we want to thank you for creating um, this, uh, for moving forward with this resolution to include election judges. Um, we thank you for the attention that you're giving to party balance and, and to public oversight by restoring the election judges to that process as well as um, the encouragement that that will give to the cities to also follow suit. Um, we do have some concerns about the uh, process as it's been laid, about the resolution, um, because we still feel that it, it opens the door to having an absentee ballot board that is staffed with mostly employees. Um, and so we, we're asking what will be the specific process used to contact the election judges on the list as provided by the Secretary of State, including how many attempts will be made, what means of contact will be used, and will they use more than one means of contact. Um, if the specific process and means of contact is not even defined, may we please have some input on that process? May we be able to say, you know, contact them three times, contact them two times. I don't know if that's possible, but that's something we're asking. Um, if a sufficient number of election judges cannot be found from the list, why is the first and only choice to move to deputy county auditors? Is it possible that instead of moving directly to deputy county auditors and having that employee of, unbiased, of undeclared bias making the choices or, or doing the process, would it be possible for the county to post for election judges instead? As you suggested, sir, um, Commissioner Slavic, when it makes sense, maybe to post out there, maybe we would get better representation from the townships and from the smaller cities if we did that instead of just moving directly to hiring um, staff. Uh, they're both paid in seasonal positions. It, it, to me, it makes sense if we could put that into the resolution that they would first post for election judges. And then, if they don't get a sufficient number at that point, move to staffing with a deputy county, deputy county officer. So those are my my concerns about this. Okay. Thank you. Real briefly. Yeah, and <laughs> I really want to commend the uh, the county for looking at this because statutorily, uh, you'll find this in 203.121, where the first sentence in there is the governing body by county municipality with the responsibility to accept and reject absentee ballots must by <coughs> ordinance or resolution establish a ballot board. So that's kind of what we're doing here, and it's a great opportunity for us to work together. And I think, especially with everything that's going on, I think we have to be creative uh, in today's world that having 46 days is really tough for a commitment, and maybe there needs to be split schedules so that we can have more participation of all four major parties in Minnesota to be part of that process, because the election process from a political science standpoint is not only just the caucuses and the, the ballot, the casting of it, but also having that party representation and oversight to make sure that everything is on the up and up because any of the conspiracy theories are canceled out right there when all parties are there to make the decision as okay. to what's best. Okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna hear from the League of uh, Minnesota Voters and I, we've got answers to your questions. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do most of them really quick myself. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning. Welcome. Have a seat. Stay 